results for the second um, test. I'll just show them really fast on the thing. Now, in the last video, I showed you the first test, and when you know it started, you know, right here, slowly went up three volts, four volts, and this is the day that I ended and I showed you the test, and that's what took all the power away, so it went down again. But so this is what we ended with. And um, that was with uneven capacitors, and it seems like there's something to do with the uneven capacitors. I don't know. So on the second test, we went from February 28th through <coughs> um, March 3rd at 9:34 p.m. And so when we first started off on the 28th, we were at like we started at zero, we went up to 0.2 on each. And point one, and then you know, keep going up. You know that that's good. And um, at that like the third day, I was approximating about point five volts a day extra from each plate. If you add a third plate, I guess. So I added. That's what I've got to say. I added three plates this time. And so instead of two, you have three. And so on to the next chart. You know, then it, yeah, it was like 2.3, 2.4. You see it's rising. 2.9, 2.9, 3.2, 3.3. 3 .3. And this is where I ended, and this was the fifth day. And um, we got 3.2 in the normal and 3.3 .3 in the reverse. And this was just two um, same rated capacitors. Yeah, I'll just show you the circuit. So these are the same now, the capacitors. And um, I had a problem on like the third day, and it, it was it seemed like the wires weren't connected or something because the chop, the capacitors were um, losing energy. So I had to hit the ground rod in, and that's what you see in my setup three video is me just hitting the, the grounding rod in because it it just wasn't you know charging as good. And then I hit it in, and it seemed like it was charging again. But you know the results seem like they're a little bit weaker than what they should have been. But I mean that could be maybe because there was nothing hooked up, and then it's trying to charge again from not being hooked up. Um, so it's the same circuit, just two same diodes, and um, you know two antennas. One goes onto the grounding. Find it. <laughs> it goes onto the grounding, and then this one goes up to the attic. And so the, the thing. So what's this? Five it'd be about um like six point four five six like six point two volts at the end of this test. And if we go to this one, it would be six point five volts. Cause if you just add the two voltages together. So I mean yeah, there was an increase. It's a little weak. And so, you know, maybe with another plate I can increase it. But it's um it's just the capacitors I guess split it up between them both. So I mean this looks better seeing the uh, going. <laughs> it's better seeing the 4.6 volts here. It, but it seems like these capacitors because they're the same. I guess they charge about the same. Um so yeah that's the result. So when on the first test it was like 6.2 volts. And then on the second test, we got 6.5 volts. So, you know, maybe, you know, there's still an increase with an extra plate. It was a little weak, but, you know, it's working. I'll, tr I'll try an extra plate maybe the next time. Um, maybe go back to the old capacitor circuit, but I don't know. I might just keep it the same. And um, I'll give you tests again. And maybe I'll make a simple battery charger from this to charge like a weak 9 volt battery. Um, so, maybe yeah, I can show you that there's energy in the capacitors. Alright, so yeah, let's do a quick one. Take the, take the two things. I don't know how I'm going to do this with two things in my hand. But, so, hold on. Oops. Yeah. Get reverse it. So, 
So that's the little buzzer again. It's making a sound. And then this buzzer, I mean, in the, uh, the reversed. So now I tested the other capacitor. Things buzzing again. So you just hit the wires. It's just hard to do two things at once. We only have two hands, and um, I I don't know if I can show you an LED, but an LED would light up too. I should show you, but I just uh, I only have two hands, like I said, and so yeah, it's like two volts is about enough to turn on an LED. But I don't know. That, that's good enough for you today. Maybe it'll inspire you a little more. <laughs> but um, I'll just like keep checking back, and I'll see what happens. So I'll try to do like four plates, like I was saying, and um, I'll maybe change the capacitors, maybe go back to the old style thing, and um, maybe go to better insulating. Alright, peace out.